Yesterday, I dropped a video called Black Woman Begs for Forgiveness for Kissing Nick Fuentes on Fresh and Fit Miami. And the person that I'm talking about as that black woman is somebody by the name of Gladian underscore on Instagram. But the full name that she would like to be called is Gladian Narciss. And if you look at her Instagram page, you will see a lot of page, uh, a lot of content that would indicate that she has a level of Afrocentric vibes, especially this photo here where she has on the African garb and it almost looks like African print attire pants. And she says this, on this day of celebration, I honor my ancestors. I acknowledge our past and future. I sing praises to God and dance as David did. Happiest Juneteenth. Hmm, that sounds very interesting. Give her a round of applause because it really sounds like she's for the cause. And she looks the part. She even has the the fist in the hair in the air. And from the back shot there, you can look at that she's a neo soul pan Africanist lady. That's what it appears. However, this other photo shows something different. That is her kissing Nick Fuentes. God, ah! And of course, she did make some excuses in her apology, and she did actually apologize for it. I'm gonna play this small clip and then I'm gonna come back. Good, like it was an ambush. It was to make us look stupid. It was to make us look bad. And I, I and I and I and I looked stupid. Like, and I don't like the. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like that. So, the plot was to get us in. Get us in this round table to make us all look stupid because we had no idea what we were going to be talking about in the first place. Did any of us ask? No. Um, kissing him was very. Kissing him on the cheek was a was was a mistake in itself. In the sense of, I literally sat at a table with a white boy who is disgusted of, of my, my my existence. And then I take a photo with him laughing and smiling and kicking in. Um, that was dumb. That was stupid. That was just, that was dumb as I'm, I'm, I, That was a dumb as moment. Um, the fact that I, I, I understand that you all feel like I don't deserve your grace. Um because i should i should have been smarter than that uh because i look i look smarter than that um and i was just being my glodian self think and like i said i wasn't um because my my pure existence make him uncomfortable it was like what you gonna do bruh because you really not gonna do nothing all this shit you popping you ain't pop in the front of us to me because to me he he's he now in realization, he's one of the white supremacists that it ain't up front and out with it. It's in it's our in in intellect or whatever you want to. It's in his intellect. Um, the host of the show uh, at Fresh and Fit, um, Myron, when he even put on the white sheet, I should have known then. Like, oh, you, this is what you know. Like the I, what the. That I just get myself into. Um, so yeah, uh, I apologize for making any. I apologize for my actions. I apologize for sitting at a table with someone uh, knowingly knowing who made the whole show up. I don't. Myron and um, the black guy, Fresh. Um, I owe, I owe my community an apology for being stupid. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, I know people would never make these mistakes. Why did you beg him to say, I asked. Okay, so, like I said, I don't know Nick background, so I didn't expect him to say nigger. I, and I should have. Like, honestly, I was like, dang. And when he said it, I said, puss ass cracker. Like, that's the first thing that came out of my mouth. Like, puss ass cracker. Like, the first thing that came out of at that, the, my, my, in, my initial reaction was to turn up. And then I was like, oh, no. Bitch, you lie. Like, you, you can't. I chose the wrong time to be a lady. I chose the wrong time to. I should have turned up on that mother. I should have went out because that was my allergic reaction was because I called him a pussy ass cracker and was like what I thought we was on a I thought I thought I thought we were better than that and why would I think that because and that apology sounds all well and good but of course 
we have video evidence of her encouraging the white supremacist to say the n-word now what i would like dima to do for me here is dima put up the photo of her with the fist in the air on one side and let's play the video of her with the arrow next to her encouraging the white supremacist to say the n-word let's play that clip hey, what's you, that? you want me to say it yes. 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 is anyone gonna hit me if i say it no Come on, Nick, what you got? All right. Come on, Nick, what you got? And I wanted you to guys to see that because yes, that's the same person. On one end, that person is being pro-black. On another end, she's encouraging the white racist to disrespect her ancestors that she just said that she was pretty much trying to salute. But black men, once I put up that video, black men had to get their get back and they went over to Instagram and then they had this to say, let's look at he dot is dot Mr. Wise. Classic example of fake pro black. Can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> and Brooklyn born. Oh my God. For this one, let me get some sad music, please. You don't represent no one, but pro black. Well, um, we'll blur, we'll blur out the bed. Um, pro black mattress winches, right? But I'm sure the pro black um, mattress winch community and simps will accept your apology. Just don't try to speak for the black community going forward and just be who you really are. Let's go to number three. Who tell who you told him to say? We'll blur that out. The N word, though. OK, that's our brother, uh, Adamonic. Then we have somebody else checking her. Ice cold, ice cold underscore gentleman says you are literally on video telling him, say it, Nick, say it. Can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> Oh my God, black men are really dealing with her. Another brother, M-E-Y-3, Nano Kofi. Why are you lying? You encouraged him to say the N-word. You knew who he was. If you're going to take accountability, at least tell the truth. Let me stop right there. Um, her video, like we're watching right now in that clip, and shout out to Bell Rose, who um, gave me all this information. A beautiful sister from the Eritrea and Ethiopian community. I believe she's mixed with both. Yeah. Basically, this lady is lying, uh, and I'm talking about this Gladian chick. She's lying like crazy. She knew exactly what was going on. And again, shout out to Bella, um, Bell, B-E-L-L zero, right? Very beautiful lady. She, you know, she's the one that 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 got this information for me um, on Instagram because I didn't even know about it. And all, and and this is just crazy, right? Let's go to the next person. This person says, "Oh my God, gambling wizard." I don't wish no ill will, only peace and love. But in reality, I can't take you standing up for black people seriously. You don't think your answers have been through a lot, but yet the same word that were said to our ancestors to degrade them, you and other black women praised them for saying it. Stop the show. And there was some sisters twerking on the guy, at least one lady, but I can't play that. When him and others used that word, I thought of Tamir Rice, Emmett Till, MLK, Rosa Parks, Harry Tubman, and all the other greats who died for us so we can live. It's your freedom to embrace white culture, but don't disrespect the freedom fighters that fought for your freedom. Whoa. Another brother says, okay, she has apologized. I personally forgive her. Y'all don't need to send her death threats. Her crime is forgivable. Okay. This is Zappa underscore MD. And another brother, Donovan says, I don't agree with the death threats, but no, her crime is not forgivable. If she wants to disrespect her own people by kissing a white supremacist, then she can stay with him. Can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> This other person says retro underscore zero forty five. How are you going to be posting Juneteenth? But beyond those goofy fresh and uh, but beyond those goofy fresh and fit, so encouraging a highly white racist man to say the n word. Y'all some clowns. This other person says she let that man say n word and even encouraged him and laughed. Shout out to Chris Cootie. Another brother says Quest X underscore boxing. Nope, you literally encouraged it. You do not get to sleep with the enemy. Then when the heat gets turned on, try to sit here and be us your way through a video explaining why you are a raccoon. Nope. Stay over there on that plantation. We don't want you. No, nor do we need you. Your parents failed you. God damn, that brother was 
deep with that one. Underscore face, underscore the, underscore the world. We do not negotiate with terrorists, and this is giving Agent Babel. Go and get from around her. Let me just say this. These are the same people, in my honest opinion, guys, who are your Black Lives Matter activists, who are your liberal blacks. And this is not just everybody that does this, but you have a lot of people like her. They show up to the marches. They dress the part. They do this. They do that. But in my honest opinion, these are the people who are the real phony pro-blacks, the lukewarm pro-blacks in the world. And they give pro-blacks a very bad name. And, of course, I don't want anybody to, you know, consider that, you know, all people in the pro-black community or pan-African community are fake because that's definitely not true. But these are the people who told the line, right? And they want to look like they're black. They dress any kind of way. But you see, to dress like this is easy. To put Instagram posts is easy. But to do the real work that was going to empower your community, it's something that you got to do every day and you can't fake it. And again, getting around a whole bunch of people who hate black people and a whole bunch of people who hate black men. And, you know, you get around these white guys because really it's a lot of people that talk that, you know, fake liberal pro black stuff and be in the bed with white people all the time. And that's exactly what we got, especially in the Democratic Party. We need to separate ourselves from people like that, in my honest opinion. And of course, I believe we've all did some raccooning before in our life. I know that I've done it before in my life. I'm not going to sit here and act like I haven't done it. But but damn, at, but this is crazy. I ain't never been around no, no 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 white person doing nothing crazy like that. Never. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. What did you already describe the bell? We're out. Yeah, yeah.